just wanted to review how you isolate smaller subsets from time series data in Excel. Uh, when we run bench tests of a new unit, we often run it really fast to do a burn-in, but then I end up with more data than I need for a normalization or a calibration. Uh, and sometimes you oversample your data just so that you can play with moving average or some other kind of filter later, or you want to zoom in on infrequent events. And if you've programmed your logger yourself, you might even have it uh, set to change the sampling interval after it passes some threshold. But that varying time interval can give you grief later on when you're trying to do your analysis. And some of those data analysis tools only accept a limited number of, of data points, like Fourier transform. The maximum it can work on is 4,096 points. So you end up having to subsample your data to fit the time period that you're interested in into that smaller window that the data analysis tool can handle. But far and away, the, the most common reason to do subsampling is that you're trying to merge two different data sets from two different machines. And one was, say, running at a 15-minute interval, and the other one was running at a five-minute interval. And the easiest way to do the data merge is to just subsample the higher frequency data so that it matches the lower frequency data set. So the, the key insight in how to do this is to add a helper column in Excel and do a calculation in a helper column that you'll delete later, but that calculation allows you to do sorting and filtering to isolate what you're after. So this data here captured at one minute intervals. Um, we're gonna do some subsampling on this. I'm just gonna insert my helper column and uh, we'll give this a subsampling interval. And we'll start with, say, five minutes as our subsampling interval. This, this is a complete timestamp here, and Excel provides lots of tools to parse out the various pieces of this. Uh, so in this case, we're going to use minute on A6. Uh, it looks like it formatted that as, as a date format, so I'm just going to change that to number. All right, so if we parse out just the minutes from this timestamp, we've got 59 minutes. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to divide the minute that we've parsed out by the subsampling interval. We're going to use the modulo function to determine what the remainder is there. So modulo function needs the dividend, which is the minutes in this case, and we have to divide it by the divisor, which is the subsampling interval. So dollar sign $A dollar sign four. So the remainder, if we divide 59 by five, is four. And then the final piece of this puzzle is that we can convert that number into a true false value by adding a conditional here. So if I just set that modulo remainder equals zero, Excel will report that as a value of either true or false. It's either true if it matches zero or it's false if it does not and there's a false value returned where we had the number four, the remainder dividing 59 by five, it returns false. But down here where we've got the even hour interval, if I copy this function down, we get a true value. And if I take that function and I right click on the little green square at the bottom, it'll paste it all the way down. And if I just take a look at where we have matches for the five minute interval, we will see true values reported by the helper column. So false, 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 510, we've got another true. So this now gives us criteria that we can use in the sort tool. So I click on the timestamp column, shift, control, end, allows me to select all the data in my data set, go to the sort column, custom sort, and the first column I'm gonna use for this sort is the helper column. So select the helper column and I want the true values at the top. I want the ones that match my, my subsampling criteria, largest to smallest. And then we're gonna add the next level, which will be our timestamp, the complete timestamp. And we're just gonna maintain the order that was in the original data file, which is oldest to newest. So helper column, largest to smallest, that'll put all the trues at the top. And then we'll make sure that we haven't messed up our time series uh, by maintaining the oldest to newest order.
Now, if we take a look here, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all of the timestamps that match with our new subsampling interval. Usually what I do when I'm subsampling like this is I'll find the, the, the line, the line where it changes from true to false. Shift control home to select all of the data that matches my criteria and I'll make a new, a new sheet. This is our five minute subsample. And I will paste that data in. And once we're at this point, we don't need the helper column in this data file anymore. I can just delete that. Maybe get rid of my highlighting. Now, if I wanted to continue on, let's do another one. Let's uh, change that to 15. And you can see that formerly true values, when we had the uh, divisor there at five, these were all true, and now they're no longer true. We only have true at the, at the 15 minute marks. So once again, we'll select all of our data. We'll do another sort, control shift N. There's our selection. Sort, same sort as before. Helper column, largest to smallest, timestamp, oldest to newest. And then we can just scroll down and find the dividing line. There we are. So there's our new dividing line. Control shift home, copy. Fifteen minute subsample, paste it back in. So this is just our 15 minute subsample data. And again, we don't need the uh, helper column anymore. And just for last, we'll do one more. So let's do a 30 minute on this data. Once again, you can see that the uh, things that were true before are now false. Only the matches for the 30 work. Shift control end. Sort, we're just applying the same sort over again. And we scroll down to the line. There we are. So this is our 30 minute subsample data. Control Shift Home, copy. There's our 30 minute data. And we can delete the helper column here. So I've just parsed out five, 15, and 30 minute subsample data from our original. Now I don't need the helper column. If I wanted to restore my, uh, my original data, shift control end. And now we would just go back and resort it on time. Time stamp, oldest to newest. Boom, there's my file back to the way it was. And I'll just delete these. Okay, so that's that's basically a process of extracting uh, subsamples from a data set that was that was sampled at a really high frequency, and um, it just comes in handy. You'll be surprised how often you you end up needing this.